Hello everybody. A very quick video for Caleb McGowan. Uh, he wishes to know how to use shadow play. Uh, he's starting to record and he was I think he's wondering about what kind of settings I use. Um, you need NVIDIA GeForce Experience, which I believe you can use with NVIDIA GTX cards after the 750. I think it starts from there. And then you can use uh, Shadow Play to record. Uh, it's fairly good to record with. I use it most of the time. Uh, there was a time when it gave a few uh, audio problems. What you might find you have to do is start the recording then stop it very quickly after about a second and then restart it. You tend to get, when they first start it, you tend to get a little bit of a pause. So you stop it and then start it and then away you go and the, the sound is synced. Otherwise you tend to get a, a, a desyncing of the uh, the audio. All right, so a shadow play. Um, I can't really go into the settings because I'm using it to record. So it won't let me. Um, obviously on. <laughs> You have the uh, preferences there, which you have at the top as well. You can see what I'm using to record, which is 60 FPS, 50 megabits per second, using H.264, quality high, audio in-game and microphone, shadow time 5 minutes, and mode shadow or manual, which means you can you start it whenever you want. And if you want to uh, get some shadow time in, you can. A uh, different combination of button presses, which you can see there. Alt F10 saves last five minutes. Alt F9 toggles manual recording on and off. And Alt F12 toggles FPS counter on and off. So it's pretty simple to remember. Uh, also with the GeForce experience, you can optimize uh, certain games to use with your GTX card. And Shadow Play is all right. Like I said, occasionally it lets you down, but I suppose as a backup, you can always use something like Fraps or OBS. All right, Caleb, I hope this helps you, mate. This is all grey, signing off.